The Tier IV American battleship "Wyoming" gains an additional turret, health, top speed, and weapon range over the Tier III South Carolina. With six turrets, the "Wyoming" can unleash a terrifying salvo of destruction, with each armor piercing shell dealing up to 8,300 damage. High explosive shells can cause fires while also dealing up to 4,400 potential damage per shell. With 43,800 health, the "Wyoming" has 66% more health than its Tier III predecessor. With more powerful engines, her top speed has increased as well, up to 21 knots. But most surprisingly, for a ship of her size, the "Wyoming" can change direction staggeringly well. Heading north while dodging the friendly torpedoes, I keep my eyes to the east, awaiting the first sign of contact. I notice the incoming torpedo bombers and begin to turn away. I overcorrect, however, and take one of them as a hit, using my repair skill to instantly prevent more flooding. I turn my guns and open fire on the enemy destroyer, attempting to keep distance between us. I really start to sweat when I hit the island as I know I am sitting a duck. However, my shells ring true and the lightly armored destroyer is ripped apart. Enemy destroyer sunk!
Now engaging multiple ships, I'm focusing my fire on the closest enemy battleship. direct hits and his suffering while I must continue to battle on with fires raging Enemy across my own ship. I land a big hit as the enemy reignites the fires with his own return shots. I use my repair skill to put out the fire and bring the ship to a dead stop and fire at the now retreating foe. A few well-placed shots over the island sends his ship to the bottom of the sea. We've destroyed an enemy battleship! With a crackle, the Wyoming's guns open up, sending 305mm shells tearing through the air. The projectile shatters against the already weakened cruiser, sending smoke and flames billowing into the air. Enemy cruiser sunk!
While a definite improvement, the top speed of the Wyoming is still not high enough to allow me to chase down targets that are too far away to shoot with my guns. I spend the rest of this match simply trying to get into effective weapon range. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, please click subscribe below.